Hi my friends, today I'm showing my daily routine in Sweden. I am changing the bed and uh, to change the bed is not so easy in Sweden because, for me in my case because I have to go downstairs and uh, do laundry downstairs. So what I wanted uh, to share with you today that actually it is for the blanket, this one. Uh, and it is flannel and it is double and in winter I like to sleep on something warm. So you see it is not so warm at home, my friends. So that's why sometimes I even walk like that at home. Oh, so, and uh, I like to change the bed uh, like um, once uh, every week. Actually, if I have possibility and maximum, it is like uh, 10 days, it's maximum. Uh, because uh, I think uh, we should sleep uh, in a, how to say, we cannot sleep on a dirty stuff and uh, in a week we are all uh, becoming not clean anyway, even we take a shower. So I mean that I open the window, of course, every day and I have this ventilation open for many hours and everything comes here on the floor and I don't know how it's in other cities of Malmö towns places but uh, in my apartment I have rather much uh, dust uh, at home and um, I wash every day or every second day uh, the floor and it is a lot a lot of dust so my friends and uh, this one uh, how it's called the back of the bed I like to be also clean and uh, I make light so this one I also cover I will show you with what I cover I will come back I bought it on sale for three dollars. This is a very warm blanket. Small, small, very warm blanket and uh, small, very warm. Yes, yeah, small, very warm like that. And I put it. Uh, my friends, maybe you don't see good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe like that would be better. So like that. So this is usually daily routine, nothing special. Uh, maybe some people would think that I'm crazy that I do like that, but uh, yes, I am not a millionaire to change this and I do not want to live in a dirty uh, area. So some ladies, uh, they don't care how they have it home and some ladies, you know what they do. Uh, they sleep, for example, on this for two weeks on one side, then they change the side and sleep on another side uh, like that, for example, uh, second week also. So, tuck. I also here, I, <coughs> I also put this one, I, I have cover, I cover the mattress uh, with this, uh, I think it's good to cover it. So my friends, really, uh, I think it is good. Oh, you cannot see now the second. Da -da -da -da. Like that. So this, my vlog, is about Sweden and about simple life in Sweden. So uh, some fair people think that uh, we live here very um, rich, prosperous. And uh, when they find out that uh, I don't have a car, uh, so they are very much surprised. Так, sorry. They're very much surprised because they think that if you live in Sweden, oh, you must have a car. So my friends, uh, um, first of all, I think that uh, car is not good for ecology. And second, it is expensive and you have to park it somewhere. So I think it's a lot of problems to have a car. And um, I live in a rather convenient area. 
I think I don't need a car. I can go everywhere and uh, I do not <coughs> go traveling far. Or if I go, I can take train. Actually, more than a year I didn't leave Malmö area. Excuse me. So, where can I go? I even cannot imagine where I can go by car. I must tell you the truth, I have no idea where to go by car. So, <coughs> so my friends, uh, people are really surprised that I do not have uh, luxury travel, so something like that. And actually very many people from my country, they live much richer uh, than I live here. and. Uh, we are just simple people, so we have, uh, how to say, calm life, quiet life. We don't have up and down, just simple, quiet life. And actually, I think uh, it is uh, better than today, maybe you reach, your family has good, and tomorrow your family lost everything, including their lives. You know, during the Russian Revolution, my great-grandmama lost um, 10 children. Uh, she had 11. And 10 of them uh, she lost because of a uh, new power that, uh, how it's called, they took the country. Communists came to rule the country. Uh, and uh, her 10 children died. So they were not killed directly, but indirectly you can say it was like that. They were going uh, from um, the Volga region. It was uh, before hunger they went uh, from Volga region, they were going uh, to Siberia, where my great-grandpapa already worked. So, so today, my friends, I can say that we live here quiet. Quiet and peaceful, and uh, I think it is... Uh, for me, it's much better than this up and downs, up and downs, and... Uh, uh, today you have a house in the city center and tomorrow these uh, uh, people that rule your house or that rule your city they will understand that tomorrow they have to build their shopping center and they send you paper that uh, uh, they take your house and uh, you have to leave outskirts, outskirts, outskirts with your family and you cannot do nothing, so you cannot do nothing. So I, I better live quiet than I live like that up and down. So it was uh, with my family in Novosibirsk many, many years ago, before I was born. Uh, so when uh, the area was needed by government and they, they didn't have a nice house in the city center. But anyway, uh, it was a nice place because when the city was small, Everyone lived, lived in the city center. Then uh, city started growing and government needed land. And uh, so they sent people far outskirts and uh, didn't give enough meters to live for my family. So you can live like that. So in my vlog, I speak about myself, about life. Uh, about my life, how I see this. So probably you have another point of view on Sweden or uh, about your motherland. I do not know what is your motherland. I am not judging anyone. Uh, just it's my point of view. So my friends, uh, I wish you quiet life. It was your Alexandra from Sweden. We just changed the bed. And I wish you to have uh, every day to sleep in a clean bed. Because it's also happiness when you have your raw bed, it is clean and it is warm inside or more or less warm. So it is not so cold today. I uh, cannot say that I am so much cold, no. So it's happiness and uh, we have to appreciate happiness that God gave to us. Food, clean bed, nice air. And thanks for Sweden that we are safe and provided with everything. So, my friends, uh, I think that a quiet life in Sweden is good. I wish you all a good day. And uh, if you have some questions, if you want me 
to make videos more, maybe some themes that maybe you would like to know. Uh, I can make videos if I know the answer. Bye-bye.